Cards, man. That should help the game a lot. Um, I'm really looking forward to the future of this game, and I still believe it's going to be really, really amazing. So, just got to keep the game alive with tournaments like this until, you know, PFG decides to run their own official tournament. So, it would be amazing. Or maybe PFG wants to, you know, help uh, sponsor Swifty Showdown. Who knows? Hey, wink, wink. Hint, <laughs> hint. <laughs> Who knows? This will Don't be running forget. every single Monday. We'll be doing it, man. Every Monday for the rest of time. As long as the servers are alive, I will be doing this. Live and direct. Live in effect. Be hand. Swifty Showdown number two. So, uh, by the Don't way. Don't forget Seattle. number three. Next mm. week. And don't forget number four the week after that. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be around. All right, so it yeah, seems man. like... So it seems like Moist has just said they're ready, and we are in here. Awesome. Beautiful. Perfect. And it is <laughs> finally time. <laughs> To, uh... Yo, Steve, you need to be in like a movie commercial or something. <laughs> Man, I've been trying to get sponsored for something like that my whole life. If anyone knows anyone that makes cartoons and needs a voice actor, my email is stizasama at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> so... Hell yeah, plug it, baby. Plug it. <laughs> Go for it, man. Yo, if y'all need some new voices at PFG, if y'all making a new character like Rain Dog, you could be a new Rain Dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would love it. it He's an announcer man, pack, barking, bro. bro. Nah, you a... don't gotta bark, bro. Just start speaking on that Rain Dog. <laughs> I could be the official PFG announcer, bro. I got it. Yo, I'm oh, the you OG can. announcer, bro. Toasty. Prepare <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> Bro, what happened to that guy? That was the old. That was a goat. <laughs> Maybe I don't have him on my game anymore. But I don't hear him no more. So Maybe by you got the I, instant road bomb. Yeah, and we are in on the Steven universe for Moises, man. Wasn't oh sure. <laughs> yeah, that that was a it's hilarious angle. <laughs> I and right there. All right, so not worried about the two v one. Finn just getting watermelon Steven out of here immediately. Um, let's see what this Moises Steven does. And, and I was talking about variety. I mean, Steven is not a character we saw at all last week on Shifty Showdown 1. And so we got Steven, loser side top 8, man. Right? Oh, and we are stalling. Beautiful stuff for Coco right there, but it might... It is enough for him to get back on stage? No, nope, it no. is not enough. <laughs> Moises definitely was playing with his food right there, but definitely got the stock right there. Playing with Finn at the end like that is not fun. But Moises found his way around, put that Watermelon Steve battle, trying to get the tech chase. Oh, getting the smack in, Watermelon Steven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this 2v1 is crazy right now. Get up till and dude. So Coco looks a little lost, so I don't know if this is a tough Finn match. Oh my oh, god, he oh died at 60. Goodness. Why? <laughs> Holy, so up air coming in from Moises right there. I guess Flococo didn't see that up air coming, especially with the watermelon Steven making this place on stage. Hey, Flococo trying to get something going here, missing the backpack. Oh, Finding the up air, nice chase right there. Finds it, gets the emo done. All right, still a whole stock lead though for Moises. And I have to make, I mean, if anybody can make this comeback, it is Finn, man, with how we've seen him take a lot of early stocks. Um, but he's gonna need to get a hit first, which does not seem like he can do. Absolutely, and Moises is once one up air away from another one, maybe from taking this game. Oh, Rose Bomb, not Just quite it. The walk power from Moises has taken up the stage. With get him, Watermelon Steven! He's just jumping up there. He, can't, he doesn't even throw out aerials, right? He just jumps like. <laughs> oh, I there is going be to find that right there. For Coco trying his best to find a way to get in. I think the the down special shield that Moises is using is definitely hard for Coco. Still got three ring outs and still lost. You see? <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly, Watermelon Steven kills do not do anything for him. But I think you're right, uh, Takoa. The the uh, Shield surfing for Steven is just really giving Flacoco problems on this Finn. Absolutely, man. Um, it's, I think, harder now that Finn only has a 1.25 second window. Two charges up tilt to really try to time mm -hmm. the uh, landing of Steven or get him with the utmost up point of his hitbox with that up tilt. So Flacoco just trying to, you know, find some 
grounding here because you know Fofoko is also a very grounded player that likes to get his opponent to disadvantage but it seems like Moises is just taking too much control of the stage with Watermelon Stevens, Surfing, Nair, you know he's all over the place right now. Fofoko definitely just has to get in his bag right now. All right. I'm flying Armor Buns right now. Armor Buns. For Steven? I don't think it, it I, was, I was gonna say, I don't think it protects him from the Rose Bomb, right? I feel like that was a mistake, then he, wa he probably wanted speed, because I don't, I don't see why he would be using yeah. armor buns uh, against Steven, unless, like, I guess the side special, but not really much for Steven Project Thousand. But Flakoka, anyway, doing pretty good, back to, up to 1,200 gold, Bar buying armor buns again. I'm thinking it does protect him from Rose Bomb. Maybe it does. I, is Nair? But Nair's not a projectile anymore, right? I think Steven Nair used to be, but now it's not. Yes, that's yeah, right. And it's now just a move, so, thankfully. Um, a really good one, but yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Watermelon Steven is uh, giving Fukoko some problems right now. Oh my! Oh! oh Steven was a dodge chase for oh, Yo, we've been using the Rose Bomb to combo <laughs> into the up air. They put Unreal Engine 6 in Watermelon Steven, and that's it. The whole game is fine. <laughs> He's in a whole other room. I've never <laughs> seen that, yo. Uh, yo, Unreal Engine 6 is crazy, bro. <laughs> Look at this Steven. Look at the edge guard. Okay, got him. Yeah, Watermelon, Watermelon Steven is giving Fukoko some issues now. And Burnout, though. See if Lococo can uh, finish Moises off. Moises disadvantage, so like, okay, as he dies. That was mind. very smart though from Moises. That I don't think I've seen Steven do that. That was a smart choice right there. Using that side B. I usually only see him go for a jump up B yeah. for reset. So that was a nice um, refresh. Whoa! Uh, Y'all see that side special? <laughs> yes, it was a little freaky. But I think Watermelon <laughs> Steven had to add to that. His hitbox is definitely getting in Fukoko's way. I think it's mm -hmm. frustrating him, but. You know what's crazy too is uh, Flacoco does get m coins from beating up Watermelon Steven. I just don't think mm. coins are as worth it right now. I don't think it matters as much. We haven't really, we've seen some armored buns, but it hasn't made a difference. I don't think we've seen speed boost yet, and we ha haven't seen BMO, so. Yeah, we also haven't really seen them get any opportunity to use the backpack with full coins as well. As Absolutely. You're right. Moises is really just controlling the ground, as we're saying. You know, he can't really get. Oh my! Bubbled into that bubbled and sent. Sent to outer space. Oh my god. I have not seen that one yet at all. Steven. Yeah, oh to no. The bottom with that one. Oh. oh. Red the dodge, but wrong input, I get Surf. Dude, Steven is. Here, but that's the, you know, Watermelon Steven. Is just being such a bird. Nice right turnaround up till right there from Fukoko, but he can't seem to find much after he gets Moises in the air. Moises just seems to always know how to come back down with that mirror or side special. Nice backpack instantly destroyed by Ron Steven. Yeah, I I mean, have a lot of coins right now. I think the big difference for Fukoko is he haven't well there right there dropping the combo, but he, he hasn't been able to get the aerial side specials. He gets Moises above him or in disadvantage and goes for aerial side special and Moises is dodging it every single time. I'm yes. curious. We'll see. Uh... He buys speed, and both of these nice. players are just patiently waiting right now. Watermelon Steven coming out, and he's finally out. Yeah, we're not going to talk about uh, Steven camping the last time, by the way. Um, oh, yes. That, that was just, you know, we just go yeah. commercial break. As we are at the last stock here. He needs so still is in there. Oh, so there you oh, go. It did block Rose Bomb. Bomb. Work against Rose. Yes. Glad that we got to see that. There. This and is we don't have it yet. Our game three. Whoops. <laughs> I can't believe this is still this is the third game or second game. Second game, yeah, it's been a long one. Um, Steven definitely slowing the pace down a lot. Okay, so Coco um, definitely seeing the value of armored buns here now. Definitely going for a lot more now, but got a little too faithful in it there and lost the game. But yeah. thankfully, this is best of five. Yes, it is. She has one more chance right here. After what we've seen, it definitely does feel like Coco, as long as he lands his attacks. He definitely could still be in it. We did also find out that Armor Buns does help with Rose Bomb. Yes, it is. So there's a point to Armor Buns, though. Uh, it is not that often that he's actually going to get use out of it. It's still at least worthwhile, it seems. I, I'm curious why he never buys BMO, though. I, I don't think I've ever that seen Flacoco buy BMO. Which it doesn't, doesn't make sense to me, because 
you can get BMO pretty easily, and I feel like you get good use out of it as well. He kills has, early. Like, gotten, yeah, he's definitely clipped people with BMO as well. I'm pretty sure you could still just do jab into BMO, I, I believe that. Yeah, you could jab, jab, BMO. But I, I'm probably thinking that maybe it's not the initial answer to the matchup. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he did. Better start for Flacoco early. He's got a good amount of money. Um, a thousand already, yeah. A little bit of a lead. If he could land an up special, that would really help him. He's buying armor buns so he does not have to worry about Rose Bomb. All right. Yeah, he's definitely found the value of that armored buns in game two there. So he's going to try to get as much of his grounded combos as he can and get these knockouts now. We're opting for a lot more jab jab backpack on the ground. My speed as well to apply more pressure. Fococo doing Absolutely. a very well job. He now has speed, money, and he has armored buns on top of it. And he's quickly destroying these shields, trying to really just lock in here. Not fearful of Rose Bomb now, trying to get in. But Moist is trying to find some freaky chases right there off the side of the shield. This stuff is just, he's so oh, He dies. I'm not really sure why there, but, um, all good. Fortunate on for Coco's end, but Moises getting that second st or that first stock on his end and tying the game up once again. Either way, it definitely seems like we're starting to see uh, some adaptation from Flococo. Like he's absolutely um, learning when he can actually get in and punish Steven and finding his moments. Flococo for a Finn who you know can be very aggressive at times uh, is really good at picking his moments and playing patient when he needs to. Absolutely agreed once again as he just, you know, threw jab one left, jab two right, and jab three left again to try to uh, catch Moises there. But uh, playing at a definitely a better pace here, evening up the stocks. The game is way more even here in game three. Uh, sending him deep with that dash attack. Beautiful. Loading up the armored ones once again. Taking the stock lead and trying to put some more damage on some Moises as Moises is just trolling up there, dropping watermelon Steven, extending the camera. Nice sweet spot. Oh and another goodness. sweet spot right back at you, evening up the stocks. Final stock for both players here in game. All three. in burnout though for Moises. And He's in burnout. This might be his guy for Coco. He's not letting them go. But Moises finding his way back to the stage. 47 damage while he was in burnout. Not too bad. Armor buns, not having to worry about Rose Bomb, which is huge right there. Absolutely. Finding that jab again. Finding these Sear 1 into Sear 2s. Oh, great up tilt. Up tilt. Right there. Nice patience right there. The big backpack from the middle of the stage from no combo. Two bucks about that demo. Yeah. Can you get your funny up? Maybe your money up too. <laughs> All right, looking for trying to get that neutral grounded yeah. attack. For Coco, looking Moises like he's trying to take this one. He's looking for some up tilt, trying to keep sending him into a disadvantage. Not looking to really play too hard. <gasps> what is the ice attack? I'm speechless. Yo, that was. Oh my goodness, that was clean. That was. That was really clean. Man. That was really smart. Wow, big time. For that was a big brain play right there. It was. And let's let's see. I mean, Flacoco is clearly uh, adapting pretty hard. Moises is continuing to go forward. I was curious if we were going to see any sort of character pick because we've seen that Moises can play a lot of different characters. But we are rocking with the Steven still, the tried and true. Um, I mean, this Steven's got 4,000 wins on it. So it's definitely uh, got to be his best character. And Finn with 8,200 wins from Flacoco. My God. It looks like Fococo seems to be picking up on this matchup. He definitely does apply so much damage to him when he is at burnout. But if he can just secure the elimination on top of it, will be great. Yeah, you know, it's definitely hard while Steven being still one of the more floaty characters in the game, despite, you know, the multiverse's agenda, I think, to really decrease some of the floating. But, you know, some characters have definitely gotten away with the floating aspects oh of their gameplay as we saw earlier with Falsey and Joker as well. But um, we see Fukoko finding a different rhythm here in game four now, you know, trying to keep that same pace and confidence that he had in game three. Um, Watermelon Steven just watching his boy get cooked. Like he didn't even do anything. He just looked at him. <laughs> 
With that new back, you know the options. What am I gonna see with him? Right now, he has to get his dodge back, bro. <laughs> bro, sometimes he just like be always throwing out attacks, like right there. And other times he just looks at you, <laughs> like <laughs> so funny. All right. Oh, the jabs through the shield there right there. Just a backpack. Very nice play I'm right there. Speed right now. Yeah, big time lead for Flacoco, man. Not only the stock, but armor buns and speed boost. Armor as well. buns, not counting, but he went through the shield. That was interesting. It didn't count as he used an armored bun's projectile, but he was not affected by the incoming shield. Yeah. I'm not entirely I... sure about that interaction, but... <laughs> His multi is the baby. <laughs> Great up there. That's a fact. Great up there. Trying to as much as possible, but not able to get back down. What's just finding that up there? Not there for coverage. Watermelon Steven is out of here. Back to another 1v1. It felt like a pretty big lead for Fukoko now, man. But that Moises just coming back and taking it like it's nothing. Yeah, all the way up, yes, sir. Now in burnout for Fukoko. Let's see what kind of Steven combos we got. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! And oh my goodness. The tech chase with surfboards. Nair, dare. Surfboard. Nair, dare. Okay, all wall in burnout. That's, that's Fukoko does not go into burnout often at all either. But the one time he did. Moises made him pay, but right like, just like that, Sarah 2 taking it even game, man. It's been a back and forth game. You know, I definitely know it was Chavo that advocated for that Sarah 2 buff right there. Because that's all he did in beta, oh my lord. Yeah, Coco yeah. looking just like Chavo out there. Absolutely, you are right about that. He's even got the winner, the sweater, man. I mean, you know? Oh the, my goodness. The up air to up special will take it for Moises. What an explosive back and forth game, man. Them tech chases. Some people, man, you got caught holding out too long. You're not counting how much, how many times you bounced out. Nine times out of ten, a very good player is definitely watching out for that tech chase and knows that you're holding out, especially a seasoned player like Moises, who's, you know, constantly playing the game against seasoned players veteran players you know so we're not seeing a lot of the dodge spam meta anymore as we've taken care of that as well with this recent patch so you know a lot of these players are definitely getting a little more reward for their patience and people like moises who's had this patience for long are definitely being rewarded from that so shout out to moises for putting on a nice performance there Absolutely. shout out to Fukoko for adjusting but you know didn't adjust enough that was, it was really impressive from Flacoco too, GG. man. Definitely. And yeah. definitely. that Moises combo in Burnout was the difference, man. He was at 40% when he went into Burnout, and Moises just played it absolutely perfectly. Really, really impressive from Moises. Great job from both players. Uh, now we, we, we will 